Well, on this Takeout Tuesday, we are going to tell you about a place that in their 59 years, they have never done takeout until now. I am joined by Jimmy Melahez from Open Hearth. That is a family-owned steakhouse, one of the oldest here in Greenville. Jimmy, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Well, it's I'm actually been, excited. It's actually been 60 years. 60 years. Been over 60 years, yeah. Been, tell us how long I'm you've been around sorry. and a little bit about your place. Well, my dad opened it. Uh, my dad had a restaurant downtown on Main Street uh, in the 50s and then closed that in 1959 when the downtown kind of made a turn for the worse. And he moved out here in uh, August of 1959, which was 61 years this coming summer. Uh, I've been here uh, like 45 years with my, I came to work with my dad 45 years ago. He's since passed away, but we're still going strong. He's still going strong. In, in the restaurant world that you are from, have you ever had a time as crazy as right now? Never, never seen anything at all like this at all. Never. It's, uh, we've had some, some, you know, some hard times over the years, but nothing, nothing like this. Uh, it's completely different. You know, we've, we've always done carry out, which is, you know, you do four or five a night maybe, but not when it's complete carry out. That's just a different ball game from what all, all together. Well, it's nice because I like having, you know, an option because we would still want to have some kind of normalcy in our life. So, you know, having a fantastic steak dinner with your family is a great way to kind of stay normal and, of course, support a local institution like yours. So tell me what all you're offering, what all we can get from you. Well, actually, we're, we're offering our full menu selection. Uh, the, uh, our menu is online. It's the openhearthgreenville.com. Uh, get the full line of menu we offer and everything that we carry normally on uh, steak seafood chicken chops everything uh, we try to make we've maintained our quality we uh, haven't cut back on anything at all uh, our chefs have been doing a great job getting the food out trying to get it as hot as we can and get it to the customers uh, a few of them are coming in and picking it up some of them are taking it out to the car some people don't want to come in at all but uh we're doing the best we can, but we're trying to maintain the quality that we've served for, for 60 years. Well, I know it. Y'all are going to come out of this just fine. You've got some great support, and you're also on top of a great menu. You're doing, tell me about this $12 wine you can get? Yes, we're doing a house, house wines for $12 a bottle. Yeah, for a line of, uh, of wines for $12, $12 a bottle. So see, it's just like coming to eat at your place, but now we can eat in our pajamas and still enjoy a great and great food. So listen, yeah, we, we've gotten some great pictures from customers who have taken food home and, and set their tables and uh, sat around the table and doing, doing a nice dinner. So it's really been our our customers have been great. They really have. Well, that's because y'all have been fantastic and a wonderful institution for so long. Ever since I've been alive, it's I've I've known about you. So eating there many many times for a special occasion. So we'll make sure we're doing our part to keep y'all y'all going during this crazy time. And I can't wait to come in and have a real meal and sit down Thank in that you. wonderful dining room. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you. And thanks for Sounds this opportunity. You got it. And if you are new to the area and you have not been familiar with the Open Hearth, it is right there on Wade Hampton. It's actually 2801 Wade Hampton Boulevard. The number you can call is 244-2665. So call them and let's keep these places going during this time. So thank you, Jimmy. Thank you to the Open Hearth. Thank you, Megan. Welcome back to your Carolina as we continue to support local restaurants and telling you new ways that you can do that with the changing of the culture and kind of the changing of everybody's normal. I'm joined by Kenneth Cribb with um, Hub City Hospitality. Kenneth, good to see you. Thank you, Jamarcus. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Of course. It's a, it's a new reality for, for your workers and for your staff. It's a new reality for the consumer to figure out how we can best support you. First of all, let's talk about Hub City Hospitality. Which restaurants uh, do you represent? So uh, we started back in 2013 with Willie Taco um, in Spartanburg, South Carolina. We have a, a second location in, in, in Greenville, the old Feed and Seed. Um, we have Freight Yard, which is a beer garden in downtown Spartanburg. And most recently, we opened a hot chicken concept called Flock Shop. All of which, I mean, there's no one that knows the restaurant scene probably better, especially in the, the Spartanburg, Greenville area than you guys. Uh, what it takes to put a concept together and, and bring it to life. And then you have something like this that comes in out of left field and this kind of uh, changes everything. How, um, how has this um, impacted 
you and, and your business. It obviously uh, has taken a toll. Yeah, well, you know, everybody's hurting, frankly. So, you know, we're not ex exceptional um, in that in that regard. I mean, so, you know, sales are down drastically. We're, we're a full service outfit, always have been. We, we've been um, consigned to uh, takeout um, and, and delivery. Uh, those um, delivery in particular has never been in our wheelhouse, really. Uh, you know, just a lot of elbow grease, doing what we can, and trying to keep the lights on, trying to pay some salaries, trying to weather the storm, and um, you know, tr trying to be very, very positive and uplifting to our 200 plus employees, um, and let them know that uh, when we get through this thing, um, you know, we're all going to be uh, stronger. Fired up the stage. Um, brought in a professional media company and, uh, you know, did a live stream concert event, which was really exciting, raised $2,000 for our employee musicians. We actually employ um, about a dozen uh, musicians on, mm -hmm. the, uh, on the freight yard team. And so they've been struggling in two different ways, you know, uh, reduced hours, obviously, uh, in, in, the, in the restaurants and then gigs canceled left and right. So um, we were excited to have, have them showcase their stuff. And the, the stream was seen by about 10,000 people. So obviously you guys are now in the, in the carry out, the take out, the dine out uh, um, business. Um, and so people can call that's right. We're especially encouraging ordering online because it's so easy. Um, if you go to uh, willytaco.com, you can you can access either our Spartanburg location or Greenville. Um, if you go to eatdrinkflock.com, that's uh, Flock Shop. Um, you can easily order online. You can call uh, the locations as well, and we'll we'll do a uh, uh, carry out orders uh, via telephone or, or delivery for that matter. Um, we also have a tailgate uh, family style menu at Flock Shop, which is, which is really great um, if you're trying to kind of feed the whole fam. Um, we do encourage uh, phone calls uh, for, for, for that one um, and sometimes 24 hours notice, but um, we're pretty lax about that um, policy these days. Yeah. Well, we, we wish you guys the best of luck. You, you guys are such good uh, community partners in many different ways. So I'm sure people will are supporting you, wanting to support you. So, you know, I was there on the on day one of opening of the season. We had no idea this was coming, but uh, um, we can't wait to reopen that. But until then, we're going to support you. We're going to order out. We're going to dine at home and support you guys. So thank you for all that you guys are doing uh, now and, you know, in the future. You guys are great partners. Thank you so much, Jamarcus. Thanks for all you do.